guys so today i am so excited to be doing this collaboration it's called the favorite organized space collaboration and uh, i was approached by Catherine from do it on a dime to do this collab as well as Cass from organized clutterbug to do this collab so uh those are one of two of my favorite favorite youtubers so i'm so honored to be doing this collaboration with them today and Honestly, the, the list of the people who are doing this collab is just amazing. So please, please check out all of their, um, all of their channels and see all the awesomeness that you're going to get today. So I tried hard to figure out which organized space I was going to share. My first instinct was to share my pantry, which is one of my favorite organized spaces in my house, but I've already shared this video with you. You guys can just click on the link up, up there to view that video. Uh, also, I wanted to share maybe my fridge organization, but I've already showed that video. You can also click on the link to see that. I have a DIY charging station that I made and I thought you guys might be interested in that, but um, maybe I'll share that later. There's also my little jewelry, hanging jewelry thing that I made. I thought uh, that might have been a good one. Then I also thought about doing my vanity. So all of these are uh, some videos that I'll make in the future, but for this video, I decided I want to show you my entryway. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and show you my entryway. It is my favorite because I use it every day and it helps me to get my princesses out the door in the morning and just to keep everything organized when they get home from school. So also keeps my family organized by the calendars and keeping us all up on the same page about what's going on. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you an organized space in my entryway for this collaboration. Um, um, this is what we just call our little entryway and it's it helps us be organized in the morning especially um, because we keep all the girls stuff here in terms of their shoes, their coats, their bags, and it's a good place for them to sit. So here I have this ledge, which I got from the home decorators collection. And then I just attached a piece of white MDF that was already, um, it was already stained and everything white. So that was pretty easy. It still needs to be caulked, but you get the basic concept. Um, also have these hooks on here, which makes it easy to hang up the girls' coats when they come in. On top, we just have some decorative uh, frames, which I need to get some more pictures for. But um, And then for the bench itself, this is a bench that I got from Target. Target and it, um, I got it on sale. It's regular $220 and I got it on sale for $129. Um, plus with the red card, you get the 5% off and free shipping. So this was a pretty good deal. And I like that it has the three baskets and it has the space for the girls to sit. It came with three cushions on the top, but I combined those and I did a project where I just made this little no sew, um, no sew pillow on the top. So I was able to use some blue chevron duck cloth that I found at Hobby Lobby and just covered this and I have a blog post on exactly how I did this without sewing a stitch. Um, and I like also that the duck cloth corresponds with the bulletin board which I also made. I just used the same exact fabric for both of those projects and both of these projects are up on the blog. Uh, back to the bench though, there are the three um, the tree baskets, which I really like, which inside the baskets are not that organized, but that's the beauty of it because they're baskets so nobody can really see in. And there's not like a whole bunch of shoes at the front door or anything. Everything is contained in these baskets. Um, so the baskets are organized pretty simply. The first one are the girls' open toe shoes. The second one, are all the girls' closed toe shoes. So all the shoes that they could actually wear to school because they can't wear open toe to, to school. And then this third one uh, is for their um, hats, gloves. Now that it's winter time. In the summertime, I put their, um, like their shoes for the pool and different stuff like that. And in this drawer as well, I keep stuff um, that 
we would take on the go that they could use for activities. So I have their nabbies in here. I have like coloring books, activity, activity things for them to, to do sticker books and just uh, different things that they can use on the go if we're going to like a restaurant or something like that. So that's how I organize those three baskets. Up here, um, I just have this plat that I found at Kirkland's, um, which I really love. It says, what I love most about my home, it's who I share it with. Um, then I have the bulletin board, which I may have just bought a simple um, cork board from Target. And then I used the same material from the bench and I wrapped it around it. I stapled it at the back and then I added this decorative nail head trim to um, to it. So I think it gives it a good look. And then here I just keep try to keep us organized by adding the girls um, school calendar, the yearly one, and then the monthly one I print off every month. And then like if they get any invitations at school for parties or whatever, I always add them here. And then here is like our little mill center. So this is just a, a Martha Stewart expanding folder that I got from Staples. And here, this is supposed to be set up for incoming mail and outgoing mail. So Guys, that when we come I in through the door, if we have mail, we're supposed to just put it in here. And, please, and if you like what you see, please do comment. Um, then we get comment, time to sort it later on. Of course, then if there's channel, any outgoing mail, any time. bills or whatever, we could put it back here. So on the way out, you can always just grab and go. So that is the setup for this little organized space. 